bad neighbors in our lives. We've all had one. Maybe I was one. Maybe their late, loud parting ways kept you up late. Maybe they didn't respect your property line. Sometimes we end up living next to someone we simply do not see eye to eye with. However much we strive to get along with everyone, it's impossible. Disagreements don't necessarily need to escalate. Here are a few easy pointers for how to keep disagreements with a potentially bad neighbor from turning into a nasty conflict. In any scenario you encounter, the first thing you should do is make sure that you're not the bad neighbor. That might be difficult to hear, but it's important we look at how our own behavior may affect someone on the other side of the fence. When was the last time you thought about how much noise you make? Loud televisions, music, and machinery can drive most people crazy. Are your pets friendly? Threatening dogs and roaming cats quickly become neighborhood sore spots. What about tidiness? Overgrown lawns and kids' toys quickly become unpleasant eyesores. Think about the property line you share. It's best not to allow trees from your side to encroach onto theirs. Understanding what we may be contributing to a disagreement goes a long way towards solving the issue before it spirals into something bigger. Once you're confident of your own behavior, you can approach your neighbor. Your goal here is to engage in a friendly, problem-solving conversation during which you feel open enough to express what is bothering you. Learn your neighbor's name. Once you've been introduced, develop a friendly rapport. Without a pattern of good communication, problems arise, short-circuiting problem solving before it starts. Although you may be upset, don't go into the situation mad. Instead, assume the best intentions. Quite often, people don't realize their actions are creating a problem until it's brought to their attention. Start by putting yourself in your neighbor's shoes. Be proactive. Ideally, you won't have to involve any third parties in your dispute, but in case you do, document everything. If we ever need to approach a homeowners association, a neighborhood group, the city building department, or even law enforcement, a record of relevant interaction is critical to successfully alleviating the problem. Lastly, try and avoid scenarios that may cause conflict. Considering a house with a shared driveway, looking at a home next door to someone exhibiting signs of being a hoarder, stop a potential conflict before they start. Move on and consider a different home. Remember this in conclusion. It is critical to avoid getting into a tit for tat in any neighborhood conflict. Turning up your music to counter theirs, parking over the property line because their dog barks too loud, speaking badly about them. Any of these measures goes too far. If you reach the unfortunate point where your differences become irreconcilable, contact authorities. After all, a friendly conversation can only go so far.